What's up YouTube, Defragon here, and today I'm going to be making, it's another video, it's uh, a more in-depth video of the add-ons that I use in World of Warcraft. And I decided to pick Thunder Bluff because of the nice background, peaceful scenery noise. So, uh, we'll start off getting on with my first add-on, or one of my first add-ons, which is uh, really important, it's called Add-on Control Panel. See this little add-ons button? Basically, you can click on that in-game. You can turn add-ons on and off as you please and just reload your UI. That way you don't have to exit the game and then go back into the game and waste a lot of time, especially if you're in a dungeon and one of your add-ons is bugging out and you want to get rid of it. Voila. Just reload the screen like this and come back and the add-on is gone. Now I'll just go back and uh, turn that add-on back on. The next add-on I have in line is called Align. <laughs> it's basically a grid. If you like your UI to be really sleek, nice, and neat like I do, this will help you out a lot. It, especially with you using the Rune add-on that I use, Engraved. It uh, helps out a lot because these Rune add-ons, they come one's different size than the other, and uh, they're all over the place, and this helps you get everything nice and neat which is perfect for me <laughs> the next add-on we're gonna go into is bag none which I, to me I have to have an add-on like this I can't stand going through separate bags like that bag none is really useful because not only does it show your bag space all in one but you can go and you can actually check your other characters inventories and see what's in them see me going through and checking through all my tunes character or tunes inventories also, another th a couple of other things you can do is you can uh, you can mouse down above the money, which I am broke on, and see how much total gold you have with all your characters gold combined. And there's some settings you can change around in the interface settings for it. All right, the next add-on I'm going to go over is uh, my rune add-on, engraved. And I, I really love this add-on. Here you can see all the different things you can make the runes actually look like. I prefer the circles because it's simpler to watch them. Um, um, it's not as easy or it's not as hard to interpret when they're actually going to be full with just the circles, which you can set them to fill up or automatically turn on whenever they're close to being full. Here you can change the uh, opacity in or out of combat. And you can also change the color of each of the runes and this little the bars below engraved is called extra bars and that's the next add-on I'm going to go into a lot of people ask me about this add-on specifically it's called extra bars and here I'm going to show you a little bit of an example of what you can do with it I'll activate this extra bar set down here and you can see where you can move it around you can click the little clip at the end and drag it to shorten it or increase the size of it you can make it vertical by clicking the middle button on the top right and then whenever you're done you lock it in place and it is clickable you can drag anything over onto it you can I don't think you can uh, key bind to it I don't know I haven't tried yet I'm just gonna disable this bar Also, at the end of this video, I will be showing you all how to download these the way I downloaded them. This next add-on is called Gladius. I can't really show you what it looks like because I have to be in an arena to show you. But uh, basically, what it does is it shows the party or the rate or the party frames of the enemy that you're going up against. It shows what spec they are, how much mana or runic power or rage, whatever they use has, and how much HP they have. If they've used their trinket yet, uh, you can see how you can use it to count how many disarms they've done, how many cyclones they've done. You can change all kinds of settings with this. It's very useful and 100% recommended for people who do arena. All right, this next add-on is called. Ice HUD. It's the little bars you see to the left and the right of my character. I'm going to go into the options and show you a little bit of the things you can change. Like, there's 
there's so much with this add-on, but I'm only going to cover the bare basics, which is the HP bar and your energy bar. Now you can change the bars to look like uh, all these different presets that they have, which a couple of these presets I didn't know existed, so I decided to switch them to that one because I did not know that one existed, and I much prefer that one over the previous one I was using. But I've used this add-on for a long, long time. I've used it on alts, and I've loved it on casters. But I absolutely can't play without it now. It's just so much easier to keep track of my HP and my runic power with this add-on. Also, you can, you can move them anywhere on the entire screen. You can change the size of them, enlarge them, everything. Next add-on is Mapster. This one's not really necessary, but it's one that I like. Uh, I don't really use it that much anymore, but whenever I didn't have many zones uh, searched, basically it makes it and fills out the blank spots on the map for you so you can actually see every zone. And there's a couple of other things with this add-on that you can do with it, different customizations and all that good stuff, but the only thing that I use this one for is to fill out all the blank spots on the map. So that's really the main reason why I use this add-on. The next add-on is called Omni CC. Now if you look over top of the move that I use over top of my amp shell, you'll see a numerical countdown of whenever it'll be off cooldown. That's what Omni CC does. Also whenever it finishes its cooldown, the symbol, the emblem of it, will blow up like uh, increase in size and you'll see that whenever it finishes its countdown. The next add-on is called Quartz. Now this one is just a fancy casting bar. It has a couple of other things with it but I use it specifically for the casting bar being able to move it and have a sleeker look to it. The next add-on is uh, Recount which everyone should know about this one. But uh, I'll go over here and hit on the dummy for a little bit and you'll see it will count my DPS. It also counts damage done, healing done, and all kinds of other little things like down to how many people got successful interrupts. And you can track it for current fights, overall combat, everything. Another add-on is called Tidy Plates. As you can look, that HP bar is a lot sleeker and also whenever you put any kind of dot or debuff on a target it will show it above the HP bar and have a little num uh, numerical countdown uh, of how long its duration is which is really good for warlocks and death knights to watch their dots priests, shadow priests I really like this add-on especially because you can also change around the look of the HP bars and the options as well Come here! this add-on is just for fun but uh, it's called come here and come here! Uh, as you can see, it makes your character say, come here or get over here in the chat. And it also has a sound that it plays, which is actually done really well compared to other sound effects that I've heard that have been added into the game. And, uh, I don't know. It kind of entertains me. Now the next add-on that I have to show, and the last, is called Healers Have to Die. And this is a must-to-have if you're doing RBGs or Battlegrounds, or Arena for that matter. But what it does is it puts a big giant plus sign, as you can see right there, right above the healer's name. And it makes them easier to spot, and it puts that plus sign o over them after they've done so much healing. Alright, to install these add-ons, uh, go to curse.com. This is where I get all my World of Warcraft add-ons from. Download the curse client that you see here. Uh, pick for Mac or Windows, whatever you're using. Once you download and install it, go to your desktop. And whenever you go to log into Curse Client, it'll ask for you to create an account with them. Create an account with them. Go ahead and do that. Then once you come here, you should have uh, in your My Games, World of Warcraft should already be there. These are all the current add ons that I have right now. Um, you'll want to click down on Get More Add ons. And up here in the top right, in the search bar, you type the name of the add on. I'll give an example, engraved, and it will pop up with the add-on, and this will say install, just click install. It'll pop up in your downloads uh, folder. Whenever it finishes downloading, it'll automatically be installed to your game and show up here. 
and that's all you do. Then you log into the game, and it'll be there. I hope I helped you guys out with this video. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and favorite, and I'll catch you in the next video.